Scott, the director of 1858 Limited Art Advisory, a company which helps people, banks and businesses, as well as museums, to buy profitable art. Viola Raquel Bullard joins us live now from Sydney. Thank you very much indeed for speak, speaking to us. So just tell me, how has the industry been doing this year? Good morning. Thank you, Mariam. Um, we have seen an exceptional year. Uh, 2010 started off with the sale of a Giacometti sculpture at Sotheby's in London for a record £65 million, uh, followed in May um, with another record-breaking price where we had a Picasso sale in New York um, for $106 million. So the top end of the market we really have seen not only sustain itself through a global financial crisis, but also um, achieve these record-breaking highs. And you, what are you expecting next year, 2011? Well, we would like to see more growth, <laughs> as everyone in the industry would agree with me. Um, we have seen as we've met, as mentioned in the piece earlier, this polarization in the art market. The top end of the art market has continued to sustain itself and grow, um, and the, the bottom end of the art market, which is more speculative, has not been as strong. Um, what we would like to see next year is continued growth in all sectors of the art market, and we would like to see the recession-proof collectors, um, which have, have been buying very strongly over the last few years, continue to, continue to buy, and to see more people coming back into the market with confidence, looking so, to invest and, and to buy. With that in mind, what are your top picks right now? Top picks? Well, we're always very conservative in our recommendations to our clients. Um, first and foremost, one must love whatever artworks they're going to buy. But we are very conservative from the perspective that we say to stay with blue chip works of art, so 20th century masterpieces, old masters, and to ensure that all of our clients are buying well in whatever sector of the market they are most interested in. And we help them make informed decisions to ensure that they buy well and to mitigate risk with any of their transactions. And tell me where your recession-proof buyers are coming from. Yes, recession-proof buyers we have found have actually come, a lot of them have come from the emerging markets, which once were emerging, such as Russia, the Middle East, and China. Um, China, most impressively, um, has actually overtaken um, France in the third place as, as the strongest, uh, third place as a, a strong leader in the art market after the UK and the US. So it's very impressive. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. We appreciate